Hey folks, it's Brian here. It's time for another Jeep video. So I've got a little bit of free time today, so I'm gonna work on the Jeep. Uh, in my last video, I changed out the Jounce bumper and the spring coil. I don't know what the hell you call this thing. Doohickey, rest, thingamajob, top thing, whatever. Anyway, the coil spring goes here and it's a piece of rubber. Um, this is a rugged ridge or somebody like that. I, I really do think it's a rugged ridge. Anyway, these things get brittle and they wear out and the driver's side got overheated. So I decided, well, well buy a pair of them and replace them. Um, this looks like it's a very hard durometer. Um, this is some uh, inexpensive bump stops off Amazon. I mean, honestly, they what was in there was polyurethane if you want to feel like you are riding on the axle put in polyurethane bump stops because when you hit a bump that compresses the suspension it's going to pop you and you're not going to like that make your dentures fall out if you're old and if you're young trust me you'll hate it later anyway so these have some give and some compression um, they're a little bit flexible they seem like a fairly good match. I just don't like the yellow color. I think it's ugly. Um, it doesn't go with the red. I'll burn that bridge later. For now, we just... And this is something that can be changed later on anyway, so... But today's project is to replace these on the passenger side so that I have equal matches. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the left side of the axle. I mean, the alignment's screwed as it is anyway because I, I took the axle down on that side. And that hoses the alignment. Besides which, it was in a rack. The alignment is hosed anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart. And this is going to be a little more realistic uh, for how things are. Because I have the fender on on this side. Whereas on this side, the fender is off. And it makes it really easy to work on. Um, so anyway, I'm going to take, the, I'm gonna take uh, this side apart. And that's what today's video is about. Uh, check out the whole series. I use Playlist to organize. Remember to subscribe and turn on those notifications because if you turn on the notifications, you'll find out when I post a video. These come in cycles. Sometimes I have time. Sometimes I'm busy doing shit to, you know, bring in money to pay for the bill. Anyway, let's get after it. Thanks for watching. And let me know what you think in the comments. The good, the bad, the ugly, and even the stupid. You know, and hey, if you make stupid comments, I may respond and you may not like what I have to say. But anyway, that's a whole other conversation. Please keep it respectful because otherwise I will ban your ass because I have zero tolerance for bullshit. Let's get on with it. But first, a detour. There is an extraordinarily sharp spot right here. Uh, you know, it really needs to be welded, but I'm not going to break the welder out today. So it'll survive to another day. Uh, let me find something. Yeah, this towel looks like a good thing to put on here. Uh, so that little sharp spot did that. Yeah, anyway. So, um, in order to drop this side of the axle, I need to take this loose. So, uh, that looks like it is probably a 14. No, it's probably, bet you that's 16. Nope. Is not a 16. 17. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Now the question is, will it come off? We're fixing to find out. All right. I really think that we're gonna to have to take both sides of this apart in order to There's a spacer on there, but I, I do think both sides have to come apart. And 
Island. So in the interest of not losing these, I'm just going to put them back on. Um, it's kind of an easy, lazy way. <clears throat> All right, we need something bigger. That's a 17. better ways to do that but that's how I'm doing it I think that should be that difficult. So I'm going to take some of the pressure off this.
certainly don't remember this being this difficult to get out on the other side. Weird sizes for the win. definitely have an issue here, but I think I see the solution to it. ahead and do this bolt and this bolt because they're part of the solution to allowing this to rotate and this pretends that it's going to be something of a pain in the ass Oh, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna use my impact gun. to crawl under a vehicle when it's on jack stands. Remember kids, do as I say, not as I do. deep socket for this one. Let's see if 13 16 can fit and do it nicely enough. Nope. That's too much. so many sockets you would think that I have a deep 21 but I currently don't. So we'll try the wobble with the impact. This will get me where I want to go. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Let's see if the breaker bar will get it loose. my six point impact socket and rotate it 90 degrees between bites but this is getting me loose Thank <laughs> you. 
Impact for the win. Okay, so now we've got. Uh, I'm gonna bring the camera around where y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, so we got these uh, 13 millimeters down here. <clears throat> you know, it's gonna take a matching on the upper, on the bottom. because I used it yesterday. is close enough for this kind of work right here. Gonna be a pain. So let's go to the top one. the uh, shock was holding the axle up. That's kind of strange. Alright, 
so I'm going to support the the axle while I do what I'm about to do. So I gotta pull it back. I don't like this, I don't like this at all. Right, that's better than nothing. Okay, so now I can get the upper one out. But I have to twist it. shitty way to do this, but it'll work. Uh, glove would make this easier, but I don't have one handy. because those are certainly going to need to be replaced. All right. is I don't have the vehicle really well supported so it's really easy to rip knock it off the jack stand right now I'm, I'm supported on a jack and I don't like this and I'm too high up um, to really get a second jack in here let me see if I can raise this other jack high enough Thank you. 
The answer to that is no. needs to happen now is I need to get that other bolt loose. didn't destroy it yet. a lot of this would be different but I just need it loose that's probably why I couldn't get low enough to get the spring out so let's see if we can fix that now Enough of this. Pull it out. Yep, there we go. Trash. All right, so this is fifteen millimeters. come off in order to get that rubber piece off the top. And unfortunately they use like a two inch bolt here so this is something of a pain in the ass.
So this is deformed and the coil, where the coil's been resting has uh, warped this. Yeah, this is ready to be replaced. So it's important to remember if that goes up there. And then we need to put quite a lot of this on. We know we're going to lose some of it as we go up in there, and it's Chinese and cheap. Is it a coincidence that cheap and China start with the same CH? I don't think so. and just run this bolt up. And it's not really cheating, it's just easier on my hands. I mean, that's all there is to what we're doing today. I seem to remember that that had a torque rating to it. Let me check and see what it is. Oh, it's an 8.9. Yeah, so this is like 40 foot pounds. So let's actually do it right. set for 130 so we'll leave that because we know where that's going Sorry, it's a little slow for me to set this uh, torque wrench up. And I probably have it over torque, so let me fix that. Now this part's really difficult. So the bottom is here, top has a hole in it. You just twist and bump. There's a indentation here for the coil spring. This part's okay. At this point, we've got to raise this back up and put it together. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. Let's get after it. Famous last words. Shouldn't be too hard. Yes.
Probably gonna take that apart, so we'll see. So I'm going to bring the second jack in. So what I needed to do was get the pressure off of the bottom of the this. Encouragement never heard anything. I don't think that's been encouraged. Alright, so that's probably the harder part. Well, I shouldn't speak so soon. some safety back in. All right, so now we need to line that up. So let's deal with that while everything's still kind of loose.
that's a lot. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Alright, so that's going to come later.
that's not perfect. Uh, I need a deep socket to set the torque properly. All right, let's see what we can do in there. So what's really going on here is we have a angle problem. So I'm gonna see if I can pick it up in the front. I think for this, what makes sense is to put tires back on. All right, so let me find the lug nuts, which I don't like. I think they're all junk. I'm just going to put two lug nuts on each one because I'm going to replace these lug nuts. Easier with power. So I've got to find uh, two more, or one more bolt. Uh, let me see if I can get this one. Uh, you may remember I got one stuck. I think it's fatal. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to put this stock one on because I'm planning to replace it anyway. I don't know where the hell the rest of them went. Um, there were a bunch more of these. 
ready to come down. So first things first I'm going to pull the jack on the passenger side and I'm going to pull the jack stand. Hey, there it goes. It's back to its normal height. A lot easier to work on. All right. So we still have a little work to do. God, it's a lot easier to work on back at a normal height and not super deep. That's a problem. Let's put, uh, let me move the camera.
that was an 18 millimeter in case you're following along at home. This is a lock nut with a spacer, and I, I don't understand the spacer. I really don't. Because a regular bolt will fit here just fine. That's right, but it's together. It's back together the way I found it. So we've still got this. And I don't have an easy way to get that back in. Let me see if I can do it with a pry bar. This is why I think adjustable suspension is going to be key to getting this thing back in alignment. But first, I don't care if it drives down the road sideways, I need to get it licensed and titled as rebuilt before I spend thousand dollars on suspension.
it definitely should not be this hard to get this back in alignment. So, I mean, again, we've got issues, but we'll, we'll work them out eventually. that's a 16 and it needs to go to 60 um, foot pounds We're gonna find the three eighths fifteen. No idea where it's at. There it is. trust anything that body shop did so they don't ride the vehicle so I double check their work now keep in mind if you think I'm being harsh my goal was for them to mostly pull the bends out of the vehicle and then I would handle the rest still kind of in the wrong place uh, that may sort itself out it may not uh -huh. that's where this guy comes in Go find a broom.
Stop the camera because this is boring as shit. Three foot pry bar. Right now, I'd sell it for my 18 inch one, though. Where the hell I put it? I'm gonna put it away. Rare. Nope. Oh, there it is. Right where I left it. That ain't happening either. So clearly, we've got a small challenge here with this not wanting to line up. I wonder how the hell the body shop did it. I probably don't want to know. But I have a pretty good idea how I'm fixing to do it. jacks and I uh, am not any closer 
to where this should be. Now these shocks are shot to hell. Should be at the lay and recoil, but not like that. enough. I need a long one. Good. Okay. Now, how do we get that? 